a, an account of a, a truly dirty form of energy that I uh, read about, um, and it's a first-hand account of a guy who visited a dirty energy site. Quote, the foul-smelling radioactive waste from this industrial process is pumped day after day. The lake instantly assaults your senses. Stand on a black crust for just seconds and your eyes water and a powerful acrid stench fills your lungs. For hours after our visit, my stomach lurched and my head throbbed. We were there for only one hour, but those who live in Mr. Yon's village of Dalahai and other villages around breathe in the same poison every day. Dalahai villagers say their teeth began to fall out, their hair turned white at unusually young ages, and they suffered from severe skin and respiratory diseases. Children were born with soft bones and cancer rates rocketed. Can anyone guess what type of dirty energy this is from? Uh, this is from the materials used to build green wind turbines. So, as I said, there's a dissonance between what Greenpeace and the environmental movement claims to care about and what they actually support. So, 